So a few months or years or something ago, I made a 3D Game Maker tutorial for Game Maker Studio 2, and 1 for that matter, uh, where I used this as the, uh, the movement code. It's fairly straightforward. It just takes the, the currently pressed keyboard key and uh, applies movement to the player position based on that. And someone actually got mad at me for that. And there's a few things that are suboptimal about this method. Uh, one is that you can't have more than one input uh, pressed at a time and have the game respond correctly. Um, another is that if you hold one key down and then press another key and then release the second key, uh, you will not continue moving back in the first direction. And there may or may not be other things wrong with this. So in this video, I'm going to comment this all out and uh, make, the, make the font size a little bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go over two alternative methods for moving around in three dimensions in Game Maker. Uh, the first one is probably the more popular one, but I don't really like it very much. Uh, first, I'm going to say var horizontal equals keyboard check board. I need to have two quotes now, uh, double quotes now, don't I, instead of a single quote for uh, individual characters. Or w minus keyboard check ordinal w minus keyboard check ordinal s. And I'm going to do something similar for vertical. Uh, that's vertical, not horizontal. Thinking about the uh, the keyboard as axis on a joystick or something like that. Var horizontal equals, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And instead of saying w and s, I'm going to say a and d. A, D. And what this is going to do is it's going to take, and it's going to check to see if you're pressing S, and it's going to combine them into one uh, using the fact that in Game Maker and several other languages, uh, one evaluates to true and false evaluates to zero. I think I said that in the wrong order, but bear with me. And what it's going to tell the computer is that if you're pressing W on the keyboard and you're not pressing S on the keyboard, it's going to assign a vertical a value of one because uh, one minus zero is one if you go the other way around it's going to assign a value of negative one because zero minus one is a negative one and the same thing for the horizontal component now i'll get into why i don't like that in a minute but first var move direction equals point direction zero zero horizontal and vertical and var move distance equals point, distance zero, zero, horizontal and vertical. Now instead of using a switch statement or a big if else tree and going down a different branch of a conditional uh, conditions, I'm going to say var, uh, no not var, I'm very used to typing that by now, x plus equals d cos direction, uh, times four for now, y, y equals y, come on, y plus equals d, no, minus equals d sine direction times four. And we're going to run the game, and this is going to do exactly what it did before, and many fewer lines of code and in a way that will make people not aggravated at me. Uh, you can see that I move around. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I have to say, instead of direction, move direction here. Come on, paste the right value, thank you. Uh, I have to say move direction there, the, the degree sine and degree cosine of uh, that variable that we calculated a little while ago. And now you can see that I am moving around. It's not quite doing what I'm supposed to be, what I'm intending it to do. Uh, I am moving whether or not I'm pressing down anything on the keyboard and I don't seem to have any control over where I'm going. So we need to adapt this a little. Uh, the reason that you're going to keep moving even if uh, you're not pressing anything down on the keyboard is that po this point direction function for move, for move direction is always going to evaluate to something. It's never going to be undefined or anything like that. And if it was undefined, the game would probably crash anyway. Uh, point direction of zero, zero to zero, zero uh, will evaluate to zero. Something to do with the arc tangent of the, I don't make me explain that forget how it works. But what we want to do is take advantage of the fact that move distance will uh, be zero if you're not pressing down on any keyboard key and one or square root of two or something like that if you are. Uh, so instead of saying 
x plus equals this expression times 4. We can say x plus equals this expression times move distance. I'm just going to copy and paste. I failed at copying and pasting. Copy and paste. And now, when I run the game, I'm not moving anywhere. That's cool. Unfortunately, it, when I do press down somewhere on the keyboard, I move rather slowly. And I happen to move uh, not in the direction that I'm looking. And I will uh, fix that in a moment. I forgot I had these squares here that rotated with the current time. Those look really bad. Okay. So instead of a... Uh... So to fix the movement speed, I'm just going to multiply by 4. Uh, in reality, you'll probably want to have this multiply by a variable that's like, I don't know, 4 if you're walking and 6 if you're running or something like that. But that is a... Uh... I'm going to call that your homework for this video. And to fix the fact that you will not always move in the right direction when uh, you press down on a keyboard key, we can simply add the direction that you're facing, the, the, cam the direction that the camera is facing, <clears throat> or the player or whatever. We can simply add that to the direction that you're pressing down on the keyboard. And I believe because uh, of the way that I have this set up, because of the way that I have the camera looking, I'm also gonna wanna add 90 to uh, to the expression. You could fix that. You could also fix this by swapping around the uh, order and magnitude of the sines and cosines over here. And that's probably the more correct way to do things. Uh, Sweet Celestia, you can yell at me for that too later on. I don't really care. Uh, but now when I run the game, press W, I go forward. I turn around in some odd degree direction. I press W, I still go forward. D, S, A, and it works no matter which direction I'm facing. Uh, this is a lot more elegant than this giant switch statement. I can see why people like it, but like I said, it takes advantage of the fact that in Game Maker, uh, true is equal to one and false is equal to zero, and that is not really the best of programming practices to adopt. It's also not something that you can strictly count on remaining true for the rest of Game Maker's existence. I have a source for that. It's gonna be on the screen right now. I just pointed out my microphone. Uh, so instead, I'm going to comment this out, and I'm going to go over a uh, slightly less elegant way to handle movement, and that is simply going to be, if I look over at my notes over here, what happened to my notes? Oh, here they are. This is basically just going to convert the switch statement into an if else tree, and it's, uh, it's going to take the form of if... All right, what's he complaining about? Oh, there are not enough parentheses here. That would certainly cause an error. But yes, now that this is uh, going to compile, you can see that this is basically the same thing as the switch statement. It's going to work a little bit not, a little bit more nicely. When I run the game, if I push two inputs, I'm going to go off to a kind of diagonal direction. If I uh, press one key, press another key, and release the first key, I will continue going in this, the direction that I was going initially. Um, this is how I like to do my keyboard input for 3D games in Game Maker. Um, it's not as fancy, elegant looking as, I keep using that word as this uh, method over here, but it's a little bit more safe, I think. You can make up your own mind which method you want to use for moving around in three dimensions in Game Maker. Uh, if you really want to, you can go and keep on using the switch statement. I don't know necessarily why you would, but that's up to you. Uh, for now, I hope this cleared some things up. As always, assuming I remember, if I don't remember, yell at me. Uh, but I will have the uh, code for this in the description of the video, where you can download it and play around with it. My name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.